everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make a video today to document my new 2023 CRV. This CRV is an LX and I actually had a 2018 CRV. I'll post a picture right here. I bought this car back in 2018 and with used cars right now, it is absolutely insane. I was able to trade in my car for pretty much the value that I bought it for five years ago. So I had gotten an email from Honda saying that they wanted to buy my car back and so I was like this might be the perfect time to do it because I don't know if used cars are going to continue going up in price so I might as well trade it in and get a brand new car. There were a lot of little things going on in my car that were starting to add up where I wanted to just trade it in and get a brand new car. So like I had a scratch on my window where I'd accidentally scraped it with my computer. I The seats were starting to get dirty because of Luna. So I wanted to get them shampooed. The tint in my back window was peeling. There were just a lot of little things that were starting to add up. So once Honda told me that they were interested in buying back the car, I went and saw if they were really interested and I was so surprised how much my car was worth. So I was able to trade in my car and get a brand new car and my car payment is cheaper than my original car payment five years ago and interest rates have gone up. I think I made a really smart decision. I'm really, really happy with it. So I wanted to give you a tour of the 2023 CRV because I haven't really seen a lot of videos or people posting about it and I was so impressed with the quality of these new CRVs. So my old one was a 2018 and the dash barely had any tech and now it is such an upgrade. My mom drives a 2017 Audi and it is very on par with that. So I'm sure the new Audis are just absolutely insane, but it is very on par with the 2017 Audi in my opinion. And so I actually am at my parents' house. So I'm gonna show you the look of her car. The look of my sister has a 2016 CRV and then I have the 2023 CRV. So I'm gonna show you what they all look like by each other and then also show you just the interior of this new CRV and everything it has to offer. So keep on watching and make sure to like and subscribe. The very first feature that is different is there's no longer a key. Now the Honda is pushed to start, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And here is what the new dash looks like. It's definitely a techy little upgrade here. I've got only 300 miles on it. I think I drove it off the lot, or I test drove it when it had 11 miles on it. So I've had this car since the very beginning. Um, but what's kind of cool here is you can see who's wearing their seatbelt and who's not. So in the driver's side, you can see that I am there and I'm not wearing a seatbelt because it's got a red X. As soon as you click it in, it will turn to green. So you know who's wearing their seatbelt and not. Um, but this is overall what the dash looks like. On the wheel itself, this is how you can control everything. So basically everything you need is with this scroll button right here. So when I click the home button, you can see all of the different drop down menus here. I have range and fuel, speed and time, driver attention. This is where you can go ahead and customize your car however you want. So you can click on maintenance. I can see that my oil is doing good. I'll click back home. You can just go ahead and control everything here. I personally like to look at range and fuel, so that's what I have going when I'm driving. This car also has lane assist, which is a um, good and a bad thing, I would say. For the most part, it just stays on because I'm too lazy to change the settings. Now, also in the CRV, we have a new setup on the dash. This is the brand new setup on the CRV, so my old setup. I don't know if I have a picture, but it was literally the highest tech was I got to change the background color to be purple and that was about it. There was no touch or anything. It was just a screen. But now here it's all a total touch screen. You can navigate the different apps and it all hooks up with your phone and it's Apple CarPlay. I can control my Spotify through here. I can control my maps. Um, I can do all kinds of things and it's all touch screen. So this display is just so awesome. It was a huge selling point for me that it was a tech upgrade. So this is definitely something that I love on the Honda. But it's just really cool because now I get texts up on this screen and I get, it's so funny that it even has like Duncan and Panera on there, but I get, I can control all of my music on here and I get my texts and calls through here and it's so perfect and seamless. 
So here you can see that I'm getting texts coming through. So moving down, I actually really like this new feature. This is the new AC setup. So my, when my friend went to go get the car with me, she said it looks very much like Jeep. It's very cohesive and all put together. So this is the new AC and how to control it. So it's all very cohesive looking and definitely an upgrade. The glove box is a little bit smaller, but I really don't need to carry that much stuff. Otherwise, I'll just hoard things in the car. So I think that's probably for the best. Down here, this is the new control of how to shift gears. There's also a drive mode that has a snow feature, a going downhill feature, and normal. So I just have it in normal. When I drive, I do notice that the car will stop. If I'm stopped, like the engine will turn off, but it kicks right back on. In here, the new center console here is very deep. It's a lot deeper than the old one. Um, right now it just has my workout stuff in there, but that is a lot of awesome storage back there. And now I'm gonna show you the back. I also just really, really love the look of the seats. So I wanted to not have leather because leather in Arizona is horrible and I'm traumatized from my last car. But these seats just look so sporty and fun. I have my boxing gloves back there. These seats just look so sporty and fun and I love them. Oh, so here's the back area here. You can see that there are no pockets. I didn't mind that because I honestly knew that it would just get filled with junk. So I didn't really mind that there are no pockets back there. And you can also buy seat covers that have pockets. So I didn't mind. There's a little AC control back here too, which is nice for your passengers. And that's kind of it for the back seat. There is a little cup holder area armrest for your passengers. And the other cool feature is, that I think is new with this car is if you hold down here, you can make the seats recline so your passengers can take a nap if you are going on a road trip and be super comfortable. And here is the trunk space. It's pretty similar to my last car. One of the main changes is that now there are lights back here. So it's kind of nice to light up at night. But I still have the weathering and the spare is under here. So there's a lot of room and it's so awesome. But here's a little side-by-side -side comparison. So this is the new Honda in the front, what it looks like. My sister's is more what mine looked like. So this is her 2016. And in the front, you can see it looks like a little bit different. Here I have more of the sporty look and a bigger Honda logo. And it's very similar to here is the Audi I was talking about that my mom has. I think they look like they could be sisters. It is so funny. Um, but definitely has a tech upgrade and that front looks more sporty and upgraded. The gas pump is similar to my last one too where you can just push and pull it on open so there's no twisting or screwing anything. It's just super easy to open and close. Another feature that's so nice is now when I lock the car it is so much more quiet so if I were to lock it it's a nice little beep instead of blaring at you like my last car did. Another feature I forgot to mention that I actually had on my 2009 Lexus, but I didn't have it on my 2018 Honda, is the auto lights. I am so happy to have those back because they are so convenient and nice. If I'm on a very well lit road at night, sometimes I'll forget to turn my lights on, so it is just so convenient to have it on auto. But there are a couple things I do wanna talk about that I really love that I've noticed since driving the car. So first of all, when you open and close the door, it's so smooth and soft and you can tell that it's an upgrade. Second of all, something I really missed when I went from having my Lexus to a Honda was the amount of reduced noise on the freeways. In my Lexus, my car was so quiet. And then having a Honda, I noticed I have to turn the volume up more and I can hear background like white noise more. But in this car, it is so much more smoother and quieter on the freeway. The other thing is the steering wheel. The steering wheel, I feel like I can move it so seamlessly and it is just so smooth to navigate when driving. 
So that's it for features inside the CRV, and this is kind of what the brand new 2023 CRV looks like. I am super, super impressed with Honda, both for the price point and the quality. I highly recommend this car if you are looking for a new car that is a good price point, especially if you have a trade-in because of used cars right now. I feel like it's the perfect time. So I got super, super lucky. The timing was right, and I have a car that I absolutely love. And if used cars continue to go up in price, then in a few years, I can can rinse and repeat this process and get another car but I love how sporty it looks I love how smooth the ride is and all of the upgraded features so that is the new 2023 Honda and I had so much fun at showcase Honda because when you buy a car they let you hit the gong so I'm gonna put a video here I got to do that when I bought my car back in 2018 and I got to hit it again this time. So I just had a really great experience buying my car and now I absolutely love my car. If you guys have any questions, leave a uh, comment below so that I can get back to you. My phone battery keeps overheating because it's summertime in Arizona. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.